Now, before we begin the dress rehearsal, Seneca, I want to tell you how grateful I am for all the help you've given Barbara. Oh, listen, it's been a pleasure. I should thank you for that very generous donation you made to the pediatric pavilion. Seneca, no donation, no contribution, no kind of compensation will ever thank you for the help you've given us. Well, Barbara's more relaxed, she's confident in the material, she's going to play it to the hilt. And if Barbara can make that kind of investment, the show will be in good shape. I suppose she's uh, told you about our uh, current problem. Oh, you mean you're concerned because the ratings are down? Well, it's not a good idea to discuss it on the floor. Our official position is that even though they know the numbers, we are on the way up. Of course. And we... Cast on set for dress rehearsal, please act one Maggie, Lois, Miss Prince, the nurse in Maggie's hospital room. Listen, what, what are we going to see today? Well, it's a pivotal scene. Uh, Barbara, uh, Maggie's aneurysm is under control. The blood vessel is uh, sealed itself, correct? Yeah, right. Inter intracranial pressure is reduced. And it is essential that Maggie gets a lot of rest. Oh, yeah, no physical or emotional stress. So the blood pressure remains normal and the aneurysm is sealed. Precisely. Now, the audience knows this because we played that in Act 5 yesterday, even as we saw Lois, the girl we love to hate, on the way to the hospital to visit Maggie. Now, we also know from 10 years of experience, when Maggie and Lois get together, it gets pretty heavy, emotionally speaking. Uh, so, uh, then Maggie is in danger. I mean, Lois's visit upsets her, and uh, blood pressure jumps up, and uh, the aneurysm could go again. You got it. You know... Her physician should have restricted visitors. Well, he did, but Maggie wanted to see family, and technically speaking, Lois is family. She was once married to Maggie's brother. Ah, uh, there's Lois now. Uh -huh. George, excuse me, can you move about three feet to your right, blocking here? Sure. Okay. Uh, here, right. here she comes. Hi. Hi. Oh. The future of this show, uh, about 100 jobs, and the uh, fantasy life of about 6 million... Americans depend squarely on the shoulders of those two ladies. Bill? Yeah? Um, can I wear my coat in the studio? It is freezing here. All right, well, let's compromise, Barbara. Put it over your knees when you get into bed. All right, and you can lower the air conditioner? Oh, yes, I can. Thank you. The blood does thin as we get older. <laughs> Maggie, can you go up just a little bit on the bed, please? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Lois, nurse, we need you on the other side of the door, please. Places, everyone. Quiet on the set. This is a dress rehearsal. Proud and the passionate, episode 5,954. Wait for my cue, please. Searching for his son. Find out what happened when Todd returns. Don't miss One Life to Live. This Friday at 9 on SoapNet. SoapNet is passionate. Cool. Red. Hot. Steamy. It's sexy. It's romantic. It's a wonderful opportunity to be able to watch at night. Nighttime, you can watch your soaps. This is such a cool, amazing thing. You can watch it on the weekend. Where you get the whole week. And it's a review of all the shows. Where else can you go to do that? They have no excuse now. I like that. The best shows, the best lineup. Days of our lives. All my children. One life to live. General Hospital. The Young and the Restless. SoapNet. 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 The new way to watch soaps. Mother Nature with the protective power of Crest. New Crest Nature's Expressions. 
Choose between natural peppermint oil, lemon and mint extracts, or mint with green tea extracts. New Nature's Expressions. It's Crest with a natural twist. Isn't cash in hand better than jewelry gathering dust? Have your jewelry valued and sold for cash right now. Things we buy will purchase diamonds, watches, and jewelry. Diamonds in all shapes and sizes. Your watches could be worth thousands. Things we buy pay their top price in cash for your jewelry today. Sell direct to Things We Buy and do something useful with the cash. Things We Buy offers free online appraisals. Call the number on your screen or visit thingswebuy.com to discover the value of your jewelry, watches, and diamonds. Things We Buy has been in business for over 17 years. I was very comfortable selling my items to such a reputable company. Things We Buy will send you an insured and secure safe pack and a helpful booklet about valuing your items. Things We Buy maintains the security of your items by using digital video computer tracking. This is your opportunity to turn all your jewelry, watches, and diamonds into cash today at Things We Buy. Call the number on your screen or visit thingswebuy.com. Five, four, three, two... How are you this afternoon? Mm, much better, I think. I've slept for hours. Good for you. Are you up to a visitor? Mm, I can't think of anything I'd like better. I'm sorry, Bill. Yes, ma'am? <laughs> there are two things. I mean, this, this plant was delivered to Maggie at 11 o'clock this morning, uh, story time. And the poor thing, I think, has aged a week since then. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't avoid it. It's right in my sight line. Props, replace the plan, please. Sorry, Barbara. That's lovely. What else? But yeah, I've been hospitalized for 36 hours. I mean, I cannot believe this dreary thing is the only tangible <laughs> evidence of my love and sympathy for my family. I mean, come on, Barbara. folks. Let's get the, the cut flowers and, and a card from Hank or something. And, um, Sarah would have sent flowers from her garden, at least. I mean, marigolds, probably. Oh, probably, probably. <laughs> Got all that, John? Got it. OK, good. I'll throw in a couple extra cards for the tabletop, oh. maybe for Ann and Sam. Bless you. <laughs> Listen, this is so important. We want it to work. OK. <sighs> Let's take it from the top. Be quiet on the set. Better. Everybody in places. <sighs> Five, four, three, two. <laughs> How are you this afternoon? Hmm, much better. I think I've slept for hours. Good for you. Are you up to a visitor? I can't think of anything I'd like better. May I come in, Maggie? Of course. Mrs. Blackburn. Uh, it's all right, Miss Prince. May we have a few minutes alone? As long as you remember, no excitement, no stress. It's essential that Mrs. Blackburn have absolute quiet. I understand completely. Will you believe me when I say I am so sorry about all this? Certainly. When Hank told me what happened, I was surprised to find out that I was really upset. And then I realized why. Why? I felt responsible. And selfish creature that I am, I just didn't want to live the rest of my life with the nagging suspicion that I'd killed you. I know, Lois, you think the Earth revolves around you. <laughs> the truth is, you are not responsible for my aneurysm. It was up there long ago. It was a weak blood vessel just waiting to rupture. Oh, but when it broke, you were very upset. Your blood pressure was high, and you were angry at me. What gave you that idea? Oh, Anne told me about the conversation you had with her that afternoon. Really? She's such a dear child, but uh, ever so slightly stupid, <laughs> wouldn't you say? No. Well, it wasn't too difficult to read between the lines. You're angry because Hank and I are going to Pittsburgh with each other. That's not true. Oh, I think it is. Hank's relationship with you is, is purely professional. It's not personal. Oh, no. Oh, my dear. Lois, 
What are you trying to say? Well, only that if your husband's feelings for me contributed to your condition, I am truly sorry. You get out of here. Oh, darling. I mean it. You turn around and leave this room now. No. You get out of here before I call the nurse. I... Oh, Mrs. Blackburn. Lie down again immediately. Here, rest on my arm. Call the other nurse, please. Move! Mrs. Blackburn. Maggie. And clean out. Very nice. Thank you. You actually frightened me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, I was a little hung up there, though. Um... It's cold in here. Listen, uh, when we talk to Bill at no time, uh, I want to ask him, I think, that maybe your arm could be... Come in a little faster around me. You know? Oh, sure. I was just trying not to rush it. I know, I know. Okay. Thanks. Well, how are they? They're wonderful. I sense uh, a little uh, vacillation there. Oh, cast on sets for act two, please, Ann and Hank in Maggie's George, living room. You can take a look at the flowers, please. I can't get marigold. Sure, what do you got? If there's something wrong with it, I want to know. Well, I don't know how realistic you need to be. Completely. Well, in that case, I don't believe that uh, Maggie could summon up the kind of strength you just demonstrated. Well, tell me more. I, I, I thought she was recovering. Yeah, well, sure she is. But, I mean, she, her body's just been through a traumatic shock. Look, imagine that you would just run a marathon. You'd be tired, your resource would be depleted. George? George! Yeah, here, Barbara. Look, at, uh, we can't get marigolds, but I think Forget if we the use a go... I would like to rehearse the scene again. Why? I thought it was dynamite. No, well, Seneca says that I was a little too strong, that I, I had too much energy. Now, I, I can take it down for tape. I just want to run it again. Well, right? if we stop now, we're going to go over on taping. If we don't do everything the best way we know how, we will be off the air. Now, Bill! Bill, will you come down on the set this minute? Coming right down. Hold it, Bill. Right. I want to rehearse the scene again. I don't think it's necessary, Barbara. You don't have to play with Pamela. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm sorry, but everybody knows that you do the same thing on tape you did on dress. And uh, to say nothing of sort of spontaneous behavior. I mean, you know, let's get it right. It's too important. <laughs> I have a suggestion. Just tell her not to overact. I will do the scene just as I did it in dress, and then it will be perfect. Pamela, that's counterproductive. That's really cute, Pamela. Now, come on. Tell him. George, under the circumstances, Maggie would have been more tired. Uh, the scene would have been more labored. Please, George. Okay. Bill, would you come in a minute? Right with you. Seneca, I want you to explain this to the director, and then you and I will go into the control room and stay there. No, but if That's you... it, Barbara. Seneca can watch the show from the control room and give his comments to your director. No, it's okay, George. Maggie knows that uh, her neurologist has her best interests at heart. Yes, of course she does. <laughs> Cicero Murphy here. Cicero, Jack Finale. Finale! Ha! Guess who I saw at the garden two nights ago? You tell me. Jumbo Moreno. I said, what's happened to Finale? And he filled me in. Hey, you've been leading a full and rich life since we last met. Yeah, well, uh, Jumbo doesn't know the half of it. I need some help, Cicero. Financial, repertorial, electronic, you name it, you got it. Well, right now, I'm talking in terms of electronic surveillance. Ah, who you want to bug? I can't tell you who. I want you to tell me how, but not over the phone. Okay, where can I meet you? You still find your way down to my apartment? You know it. When? Half an hour? See you then. Roger, it's Delia. Well, hello there. I just called the hospital. They said you had the afternoon off. Do you have plans? Well, not at the moment, but I was hoping to see you later, of course. I need to see you now. Now? As in immediately? Well, yeah. 
but not at the Crystal Palace. Could I please come over there? Well, nothing would please me more, Dee. Don't be charming, Roger. I'm very nervous about this. I really am. I think I'm flattered. Well, you don't understand. Well, then I'll certainly look forward to your explaining it to me in person. Okay, I'm going to be right there, because I'll take a cab. Splendid. That knows there's nothing typical about a day in Dallas. 9 a.m., board meeting. I'm gonna take care of those old boys. 1 p.m., have a drink. Here's the original sin. 4 p.m., slap someone you love. And that's just before supper. That was a fine dinner, Miss Silly. Back to Back Dallas, today starting at 11. Tonight on SoapNet. Your baby, my belly. I give birth for you. She's carrying her own baby with Ryan. I deserve it all back. Greenlee is suing for custody of Spike. Watch All My Children tonight at 8 on SoapNet. Watch this. I dropped a dress size every two weeks and went from a size 20 to a size 10. I tried dozens of diets, but Metafast was the only one that I could actually stick with, and I lost 57 pounds doing it. I feel awesome. Metafast. Clinically proven to take the weight off two to five pounds a week. I tried every diet under the sun, and only with Metafast did my craving stop, and I lost 85 pounds. You never get hungry because you eat a balanced meal six times a day. You too can look better, feel better, and be healthier. With over 50 meals to choose from, you will never get bored with the same old meal options. And with the Lean and Green meal, you and your family can all sit down together for a healthy dinner. With your first four-week order, you receive one week of food free, five weeks for the price of four, and we pay the shipping. If you are not completely satisfied with your results in the first 30 days, simply return the unused portion for a full refund. No questions asked. Call the number on your screen. Imagine a different kind of foundation that's actually good for your skin. Bare Minerals is a lightweight, loose mineral foundation that covers all your imperfections while giving you the look and feel of beautiful bare skin. You'll receive two foundations in your choice of four skin tones. It's a natural SPF 15 sunblock that protects your skin from aging UVA and UVB rays. You'll also receive warmth, a very special Bare Minerals that gives your skin the natural looking sun-kissed glow of health. And for the perfect finishing touch, you'll receive Mineral Veil, a feather light, completely sheer powder for a flawless looking airbrushed finish. Plus, you'll receive three professionally designed brushes. Just swirl, tap, and buff away the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, redness, uneven skin tone, freckles, and blemishes. Try Bare Minerals for 60 days. If you're not happy for any reason, just send it back for a full refund of your purchase price. Call 1-800-840-8595. Understand. Dee, you said you were nervous. Now, uh, I understand that it's very reassuring to have caviar and champagne. Oh, this is going to be very difficult. Nonsense. Roger, I've done something I shouldn't have done. Well, I'm sure you have. What? Well, Dee, you're always doing something that you shouldn't have, and that's, uh, that's one of your qualities that I uh, like the most in you. Well, I'm trying to change. And Bobby says I've been insensitive and, and selfish and that I've taken advantage of you. Well, I, uh, 
I think I'm a better judge of that than Bob. I do appreciate his concern, however. The <clears throat> no one, not even you, can take advantage of me unless I am uh, in a very cooperative frame of mind. But I have to admit that uh, I'm more inclined to be cooperative with you than anyone else. To mutual understanding? I can drink to that. That is why I'm here. You are a bit unnerved. I don't want to be selfish and cruel. Well, you don't want to be cruel. I'm not so sure about selfish. Uh, on the other hand, Dee, you know, I think you've grown up a lot in the last few months. You do? Why? Well, in my opinion, it took a lot of courage and... A lot of generosity for you to be able to call and apologize and ask me to be your friend again. And courage and generosity are two very grown-up virtues. You're making this so much harder. But I'm not teasing. I meant what I said. I know. You made me happy. I mean, you've... You put me in touch with a lot of... I don't know, a, an incredible reservoir of feelings about you and for you. What feelings? Sometimes I like to drop a building on you, but uh, by and large, I love you. What's the matter now? Please take back your ring. I don't deserve it, and I can't keep it. Why not? I took it under false pretenses, sort of. False pretenses? How? I... I... This is a very valuable ring, Roger. It makes me feel like you want to be more than just friends, and I, not ready for that yet. Then keep it until you are ready. No, I, I don't want to lead you on or make a commitment, if you know what I mean. What do you want, Dee? For you to be my friend and for me to be able to count on you and for us not to go too fast with something that we both might regret later. So please take back this, even though it's the prettiest ring I've ever seen. And I wish now that I'd let you give me sapphires a long time ago. Where are you going? I... I knew I couldn't make you understand. But why the change of signals, the new game plan? I don't know what you're talking about. Neither do I. But I think I'm going to find out sooner or later. Goodbye, Roger. It's shocking secrets in Salem on days. Then catch the latest scandals on AMC. Later, things are heating up on One Life on SoapNet. You'll never know how much that means to me. You've never taken my side. Let's cut to the chase. I hate you, you hate me. This marriage isn't over. I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind. You didn't leave me any choice. You're not giving up any more than I am. I hate that I have to walk away from the father of my children. I just want to hold him. Ola Moore, Days of Our Lives, next, only on SoapNet. I don't fit into their world, and I never will. He grew up in the shadows. Why not just stay on the playground? I joined a varsity. Of a life he thought he wanted. Because I want to know if I'm good. He grew up in the spotlight. Do you even care that it's slipping away? Of a life he never asked for. Don't worry, Dad. Your dreams are still safe. Now, Nathan Scott and Lucas Scott are about to discover they have more in common than just their names. What do you want, man? I mean, other than my girlfriend and my spot in the lineup. All right, if you're looking for betrayal, look to yourself. You want my world? You got it. I have to be with you. Okay, superstar, are you ready to score? Go for the win! Every weekday at 5, SoapNet takes you to One Tree Hill. Whatever you got, you better bring it. It's not going anywhere. 
pretty people, pretty messed up. I'm sorry. For what? Those sorts of things. See how it all began. One Tree Hill, weekdays at 5 on SoapNet. My doctor said to take my birth control pill at the same time every day. Trouble is, the same time is different every day. That's why I use Lodos Femcon. It's chewable, so I can take my pill on time no matter where I am. There are serious risks with the pill, including blood clots, stroke, and heart attack. Smoking increases risks, especially if you're over 35. If you've had any of these conditions, certain cancers, or if you could be pregnant, you shouldn't take the pill. The pill doesn't protect against HIV or STDs. Ask your healthcare provider about Minty Chewable Femcon or go to chewablepill.com. Make tonight a Madwitch night. Good to see you, Finale. Not half as good as it is to see you. Well, I told you a long time ago. If you ever need a favor, you can count on me. Glad to remember. Have a seat. Thanks. Uh, bourbon water. Yeah, you remember a lot of things. Uh, am I working? Yep. Let me make that coffee. So tell me what you got. I've got a hidden wall compartment in an office that I want to selectively buck. Selectively? As in there'll be some stuff going down that you're not interested in? Right. Will you be around this room? What's around? Within 50 feet, up, down, or sideways. Most of the time. OK, we can get a remote control unit that can activate your recorder whenever you think the time is right. Very nice. Do you want audio, video, or just sound? I can have a camera. What's the setup? OK. Here's the layout. All right, now there's a compartment. 15 inches wide, 32 inches high, 18 inches deep. Now, it's covered by a sliding panel, which is covered by a mirror, which is about 18 by 36 inches. And this mirror here, is that frame and glass or just glass? Frame and glass. Perfect. All right, now, there's a desk with a phone here. Door of the office here. And from here to here is about 10 feet. OK, we can get a video camera with sound capabilities that would fit into a compartment that size. Now, this sliding panel here, can you see it from the mirror, behind the mirror? No. OK, then you can leave it ajar. Then all you need is a two-way mirror so the camera can shoot through, you understand? Got it. Now, how soon would uh, something like that uh, be available? When you need it. Now. Oh. I have it for you by 5 o'clock. Thank you. My pleasure, Frank. Uh, how much is uh, this going to cost? Don't worry about it. I know a guy. Cicero? Huh? You're terrific. <laughs> yeah. See you at 5. <laughs> The Daytime Emmy event you'll only see on SoapNet. The actual episodes that scored outstanding drama nominations. The Daytime Emmy Dramarama, this Saturday at noon. Followed by five All My Children and four Fast Hours on SoapNet.